All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Makakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the whole flock of Israel. And I want to start this lesson off um, with a precept. All right, so this is a Sirach chapter 1 and verse 13. Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. So, you know, what happens is, you know, in this thing of ours, you know, we're required to suffer. And at the moment, it it sucks, so to say. It sucks, you know, being depressed. It sucks being, you know, oppressed. You know, it sucks being in this hell. All right, it sucks being in this, uh, this, uh, this flesh. All right, but we have to remember that we have to basically remember the latter end, the latter end of of uh, all of this, okay? And and it, what it all comes down to is judgment day, all right? Because we're in uh, heavy prophetic times, and according to Daniel's 12th chapter, you know, we're heading into the worst time ever in history. The worst judgment ever that's getting ready to happen on the earth is, is right now, in the last days of the rulership of Esau Edom, all right, being the wicked, all right, so you see uh, the wicked prospering in his ways, but you have to remember his latter end, all right, that's why the Most High said, uh, you know, basically separate yourself, come out of my people, you know, make make that separation between you and the world, all right, because, you know, uh, though favor be shown unto the wicked, yet he shall not learn righteousness, and, you know, it shall not go well with the ungodly. All right, it's never gone well with the ungodly, all right, and the unrighteous, and them that uh, continue in uh, continue in their iniquity. All right, the fear of the Lord. All right, the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, and as scriptures say, wisdom, knowledge, understanding shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is His treasure. All right, we have to remember that this place is not the end all be all. And that goes into being a visionary, imagining, you know, the world to come where righteousness is a standard and wickedness is no longer in remembrance. All right. We have to remember the latter end. All right. We have to remember that the things like our labor not being in vain, if it's in the Lord, the, the things you see in this world, the fashion of this world is getting ready to pass away. All right. So, again, you have to remember the latter end of the people of this world. Yeah, they have nice mansions. Yeah, they have nice things. Yeah, they can do what they want to do, and they seem happy. But it's not going to end well with them. All right, in the latter end, that should be stuck here in the world when the judgment, uh, when the judgment of the Most High fully is in effect at His return. All right, you want it to go well with you in Judgment Day because we all have to go and face judgment. All right, we're all going to have to be at that time where the Most High is going to weigh in the balance our deeds here on the earth. And give us salvation or damnation, All right? And and uh, the godly, as the scriptures say, the godly shall be scarcely saved. The righteous shall be scarcely saved. Okay, so you know we have to be on our best behavior. All right, and that, and that that fear. All right, learn the fear of the Lord. Okay, because the Most High is terrible. All right, the Most High isn't a power to be played with. All right, and it's not going to end well with them that do not fear the Lord. Okay, so uh, in saying that, just moving on, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, start at verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right, because they see that, you know, they do something wrong and they're not judged right away. All right, you know, for some brothers, hey, I can speak for myself. I do something wrong. I don't, I don't get. I don't get a lot of time, all right, to say I got away with it. All right, so that's why I just try to stay out of most troubles I can. Okay, but for the people of the world, and and, that, and that's beautiful too because that shows the Most High loves loves us. Okay, that's chastening. And right? when you when you do wrong, you get punished. All right, but and that shows He cares. All right, these people do wrong, and the Most High don't care. Okay, He's not correcting them because He He does not claim them. They are bastards. All right, and not children of the Most High. But nonetheless, you know, a sentence against an evil work is not executed, you know, speedily. So, you know, you commit adultery and you, and you walk away like nothing happened. 
oh, oh, is God gonna, God's not gonna do nothing. He's pacified. His mercy is great. Okay, you take his kindness for weakness, but all the most I is doing is, is is building up your tab so you can even have a worse judgment. Okay, because if you're not covered by the blood of Yahweh and Mashiach in these times to come, all right, you're you're not gonna make it. There's no exceptions. All right, if you climb in some other some other way, all right, you you are a thief and a robber. Okay, so there's only one way to find favor in the Most High is doing the things that He tells you to do, and that's out of fear. All right, fear is reverence or respect. All right, because again, the Most High isn't a power to play with. That's why we do the. That's why we do these things. We look like fools. Okay, out here, you know, and the Most High says that. But it, by the, it pleases the Most High. All right, it pleases Him by the foolishness of preaching to save those who believe. Okay, you know, all the other stuff, you know, these outwardly things. Nothing, nothing supersedes the fear of the Most High. All right, the Most High said, "Hop on 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 one leg for three days straight." You know that the fear. Okay, we fear the Most High. We don't care about you know the humiliation. We don't care about being persecuted. We don't care about being in the face of imminent death. Okay, because we fear the Most High. The Most High is judge. You know, He's the one that's in control. So we don't. Why would we fear anything externally? When the Most High, the eternal power is 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 on our side. That's why Scripture says, "If the Most High be for us, who can be against us?" You know, about you know, I'm kind of spiritually rambling on, but you know, these people of this world have no idea that the 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 things that they do, that the error that they're committing, and the Most High is a power of correction. So He is going to set everything straight, and it's not going to be uh, uh, handshakes and high fives. Okay, it's going to be willing and gnashing of teeth okay because the most high gave examples and gave set rules set here before men for things to do and things not to do but here the 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 law is slack and there is no judgment okay so the most high is coming to correct okay so moving on this is ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 12 though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged yet surely i know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high which fear before him exactly you have to remember the latter end the latter end okay a man doesn't know a man doesn't know his 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 days okay you know we are here for but a season and any day we can be put out okay you can wake up expecting to wake up and not wake up you can think you're going to a meeting and you never make it to that meeting all right, and that just goes into the pride of the people of this world. They're always making plans a week ahead, a month ahead. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that, but you have to know that our days are numbered. At any given point in time, the Most High can put us out and judge us. Okay, but these people don't have fear to add, add of adding sin upon sin, and not knowing that they're filthy, and that their judgment is coming. Okay, because they don't they don't know the Most High. All right. But, you know, as uh, that scripture, the scripture said, verse 12, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, his days be prolonged, you know, it's only be good with them that fear the Lord. All right, the, the people of this world, they can they can do what they want to do. That's fine. All right. But it's not going to end well with them. That's, that's what's going to say in, this, in, in the next verse. All right, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 13. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days. Which are as a shadow, exactly, because he feareth not before the Most High. So the Most High is going to have to teach them to fear. Okay? And it's going to be by death, by pain. Okay? Tortures, dwelling in torments, things like that. Okay? Because you chose not to fear the Most High. The, the Most High, to the Most High, belongs the issues of death. The Most High killeth, the Most High maketh alive. Alright, but you do, the people of this world don't understand that. Alright, but they're getting ready to understand. All right, and scriptures say, but it shall not end well with the wicked, neither shall his days, neither shall his, he prolong his days. All right, because the Most High said he's never, he's not going to quit the wicked. You know, just because you quote unquote got away with it, hey, you're, you're just your trial doesn't have, hasn't came yet, your court day hasn't come yet. All right, but when your day comes, you're going to be a judge. You're going to be judged according to your ways. All right, and 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 it, and it's it's not the fact that. You know, of course, even all of us in the truth, you know, we sin, we go off, we're subject to vanity. But what it, it what it is, is the intentions. We don't want to sin. 
All right, like Apostle Paul said, you know, it's not it's not me that's in it, but you know, the, basically the the sin of this flesh. We don't willingly want to sin. We it's just this 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 flesh. We have to be saved from our own selves, and that's why you know the Most High said he was he's uh he come not for the whole. You know, he come he come to those that are sick and that need a physician. Okay. We need to be redeemed of our bodies. All right. And we, we repent. We feel sorry. That's why we're doing the things to the best for our beauty that please the most high. All right. Well, but we're not perfect. We, we, we are. Our hope is full of immortality and being perfect. But, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a process nonetheless. But the people of this world, they don't feel sorry. They know not that they sin against the most high. And they, and they know not that uh, their latter end, there's not going to be any favor be shown unto them, all right? Because they, they they didn't fear the Most High, okay? So continue, all right? Um, this is um, Sirach chapter 11, <clears throat> verse 23. Say not, what profit is there of my service? And what good things shall I have hereafter? All right, say not, you know, why... Why? Uh, what profits me being in the truth? What profits me doing uh, lessons, or what profits me believing? Okay. What profits me being chastised of the Most High? Okay. I want to, uh, you know, what what good is it to me? All right. Because you have to be steadfast in the covenant, and that's why where faith comes in. You have to believe. All right. And ultimately, it's the fear. Okay. You know, we're in debt. No, of course we we beg and plead for for mercy and salvation, but we're in no space to be asking for anything. We're we're in trouble, okay. The Most High is doing these things because He promised it onto us, not because of anything we have ever done. All right, we didn't do anything to come into this truth. We didn't do anything for Him to be dealing with us, okay. The Most High is doing this for His name's sake. It's all about Yahweh and Shai, okay. But. You have to know, understand that you know there is a there is a prize at the end of this. Okay, we're not just suffering for no reason. We're not just going to, to do things for no reason. We're not in the world no more. Okay, so our if, again, if our work being the Lord, it's not in vain, and our works are going to follow us in the in the world to come. Okay. All right, but continue to Sirach verse eleven verse Sirach eleven verse twenty four. Again, say not I have enough and possess many things. And what evil shall I have hereafter? And that's that's this is these are these are traits of the wicked. These are things that they think and say. All right, I'm on top of the world. Who can tell me anything? Okay, and that goes into what the fifth chapter said: Not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten. Okay. You know the Most High is surely gonna uh, uh, get you for your pride. All right. This is a Sirach 11 verse 25. In the day of prosperity, there is forgetfulness of affliction. All right, so these people are in their prosperity. They can go out, uh, have a good time, go out and drink, party, um, you know, do whatever the worldly people do, okay? And they don't remember the hell that's in this world, okay? They don't remember the evils that are in this world, okay? They're, they're, they're ignorant to it. You know, they put a blind eye to it because they're good. That means the rest of the world, it doesn't it doesn't matter. OK. And 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 and, and you having everything you desire. All right. You don't need the most high. All right. But that's not going to be forever. All right. Because the most high and, and, and even still the people that are on top of the world, they still they still have adversity. They still get sick. You know, they still come into uh, near death experiences. And what do they do? They say, oh, God, and all this. OK. But the most I don't hear sinners. All right. But are continuing in, in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. Exactly. Because that's what's getting ready to happen to this world. All this mirth, all this, you know, uh, you know, this a, a, a wicked man's playground. All right. Do to do everything you want to do in the flesh. You can go to Vegas and, and you know, do what the hell you want to do, okay? What's, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, all right? But the most I, you may, Vegas may forget, all right? But the most I don't forget, all right? And all this prosperity, you know, 
this pride of life is getting ready to be corrected. All right, because all you people are filthy. You know, our righteousness is filthy rags. So what more you people? Okay. You know, and I said that in Isaiah, Isaiah the 24th chapter, all the mirth, all the, the, the wine, the, all the music, all that's getting ready to be put away. Okay. All right. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. Okay. Because it's wicked. This place is wicked. All right. It's confusion. Babylon the Great. All this disgusting things going on in this world behind the scenes. And you don't want to hear about it, you know, but you're not going to you're not going to be able to ignore it no more. OK, this world is evil. All right. You thought this was the end all be. You thought this was the place to be. All right. But you're sadly mistaken. All right. So continuous uh, verse 26. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. Cause that's a That's the sentence against all flesh is the day of death. No matter how mighty you are, no matter how wise you are, no matter what, everybody has a day that they're sentenced and, and, and they have to face the day of death. Every creature, there is no creature here on this earth that is immortal. In due time, all right, Israel, you know, the sons of the Most High, that, that's promised unto them, immortality. But as of now, we're still mortal men, all right? So we all have to die at some point, okay? So you can be on, again, be on top of the world. You can be doing your thing. You can have your nice things and have all manner of worldly success and even not, even not any world success, all right? Just doing your rebellion, okay? Because rebellion is rebellion, whether you have a penny or whether you have a, a trillion pennies, okay? You all have a sentence, you know, waiting for you. All right, and when that sentence comes, you know, you're going to be rewarded according to your way. That's why how I said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according to his ways. So what do you think is going to happen when your day comes? Because everybody, everybody has that fear of death. Everybody knows that death is imminent. OK, you can be on top of the world again, you know, and, and think you're immortal, you know, but you're not. You still bleed and you still have a day of death. All right. And when that time comes, you're not going to find favor in the most high because you did not fear him. And that's getting ready to happen to a lot of people in this world because they forget that they all have to be judged and all will be judged. And everything's being written down. Nothing is hid from the most high. And you know, that's why scripture says, Rock 18 uh, and 20, before judgment, examine thyself. In the day of visitation, thou shalt find, thou shalt find mercy. Okay, that's what we want, man. We want mercy. You know, we want to get out of here. We want to get out of these filthy bodies so we can stop sinning against the Most High. Because, you know, the wages of sin is death. All right, <clears throat> that's how we're gonna get immortality, but not sinning no more. Okay, but nonetheless, you know, the day of visitation is near. And we want to find mercy. We want to be found worthy. That's why we're going through these things, you know, to, to for salvation. Okay, all the other stuff, it, it'll come. All right, but getting out of here is the first step. All right, everything else will be easy after that. This is the hard part. Okay, and that's why, you know, we did a video with, uh, with Kwam. You know, the, the, the tables are going to turn. And very, very soon, you know, uh... You know, it's hard for us right now, but it's, and, and when when Jack of Trouble comes, it's going to be, you're not going to say a cakewalk, but, you know, we have we have a way out of here. OK, but the people of this world, they don't. OK, and it's going to be a beautiful, a beautiful thing. All right. Lord's will, you know, um, Lord's will, I'm one of those men. OK, um, but um, <clears throat> Lord's will is edifying. And as always, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yal Shai, Bashim Makakwadash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the whole afflicted Israel. Shalom.